guys. Got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people. You go, they have this tab right here, recruiting. You click on this, you can look around. There's some ads here looking for members, looking for groups, but then it gets really crazy. You click on the search, you go ahead in here and you say, oh, this just looks like a regular search. But bam, you pick Marvel Strike Force, come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values. So imagine, imagine being able to find somebody say, man, I just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power. And you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ. Got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. Hey guys. Um, I don't know why I always yell at the beginning of videos and then I slowly quiet myself down. Today I wanted to talk about something and it's something that I think a lot of people are just like, everybody's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out right now. And they're freaking out, not over ads. Well, actually, people are pretty annoyed with ads, but that's besides the point. Everybody's freaking out about this guy right here. Ultimus 7. My alliance is doing okay with it. Everybody's freaking out about it, right? So people are just like, ah, oh, this is too hard. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. And, like, it is really, really hard. And, like, I don't even know how, like, anybody, how we could ever beat this. It's kind of insane looking at this stuff like this last node. Like, how could we ever regularly beat this? Like, this is stuff that we can't get unless we have six, seven Red Star characters. And, I don't know. I mean, I look at it and I'm just like, man, I wonder that too. But I think I had a realization today. I got home from work and I was taking a shower. And I was like, bet that Ultima 7 is hard because I bet it's tuned to the ISO 8 stuff, you know, like the mods and everything that were talked about in the blog post a little while back. And I know I remember I, I heard something that they were doing some tests with stuff uh, recently. And I just think, guys, what if this is tuned to those? It would make sense, right? Because they don't really have a way to monetize this right now, right? Because all you need is just better gear, better whatever, better, I don't know, better... I don't know, because, like, you need better gear, and it's like, but you can't really get past this right now, because you can't really get some of this stuff. I mean, he actually could go up if I was at level 75. Nobody's really at level 75 yet, other than people who are paying a ton of money and stuff. So here's my reasoning for thinking this. So let's go back here, and let's see. Now, we don't know how much those things, we don't know anything about them. We just know, I'm, I mean, they're going to have to boost power numbers, right, because they're going to be giving extra stats. But okay, so we look at this character. This is gear 13, I'm pretty sure, with this ring. That's my understanding of it. So three red stars at 83,000 power. And if you look at these things, like it's interesting, right? Because there's no way, like three red stars, seven gold stars. So let's even just go, let's see. My Black Widow is three stars, tier 12. And so that's just two gear tiers off. And typically the increase in tiers is not that much. Like if I bumped her up here, she might be at 50,000. So 50,000 at tier 12, we'll do another one. Say it even takes her to 60,000 if we got her to tier 13. Well, she's seven stars. She's got three red stars. If you bump up all these abilities here, probably power-wise with the red stars, with the gear being all the way up, that would probably maybe take her to close to 73,000 power or excuse me, 70,000 power. So if we got her there and then you come here and you look at this, okay, well, this is still 83,000 power. So, you know, say we bump up another gear tier, gets about 5,000 or so. And then, um, so tier 14, about 80,000. Then you add the ISO 8, the mods. And then you get a little bit. Now, granted, maybe, you know, that math is not going to be foolproof because we just, we don't know. But like, that's what I'm thinking here because I had, uh, what is it? Where is this previous node? On this previous node, you can't see it, but I did a ton of damage there. You can see. And this node had uh, Gamoras on it. 
And the Gamora at one point used her second ability and it hit my character. It one-shotted my Star-Lord. It did her second attack. Did 134,000 power. I did not have defense up and she did not have offense up. It blew my mind. I was like, how is this even happening? And so it's like, when you think about it, it's like, okay, well, maybe they use like the the ISO 8s on them to just give offense or offense against certain characters. You know, we don't, I actually don't know if that's a thing. I heard that as a rumor, but like this ability, this does not even do that much damage at all, but it did, <laughs> it did 134,000 damage. And so I look at that and I'm just like, all right, like maybe like that's what's going on here is that it's tuned for the mods or the ISO 8. And like I said, a lot of people are freaking out. I mean, all of these raids that we've started with have been like hard when they first start. You know what I mean? Like we come in, we can't really get anywhere, beating our head, it's against the wall. I mean, my alliance is at 40% right now, or at least my strike team. So we're at 39% overall. For something that just came out a couple days ago, I think that's pretty good. We're not spending money. We're not doing anything like that. Like we're just going in. I mean, maybe some of these top guys are spending money, but that's their choice. And so, like, I look at it, and I'm just like, all right, like, I got all the way up here. I mean, of course, I had the help of my alliance. You know, I had these guys going up through here with me. I didn't do it all myself, but we got up here, and, like, I don't know if we could go much further than this. I'm about out of juice, if you look at my roster here. But it's like, you know, I'm about out of juice on everything. I mean, I still could run Defenders even, Wakanda. And so it's like if I had Defenders Wakanda built up, like, I could run them. I mean, Defenders I do, but, you know, and then Fantastic Four, Spider-Verse, like, you know, if I want to use Sinister Six, I could use Kree. So, I mean, it's not that, like, I'm totally out of juice. And I think that that's just, I think that's the thing. I think people are overreacting to this. I really do think people are overreacting here. And, I don't know, we just got chill, right? I mean, it's frustrating, right? Because you know that they're going to use this and they're going to use it to motivate People to spend money on the mods and stuff, I'm sure. I mean, it makes sense. Like, just logically thinking about it, make something really, really hard, then introduce something that fixes it. But you're either going to have to farm it slowly, get really lucky, or spend a lot of money. You know, that's how these kind of games work, right? You can accelerate process by just getting what you want and just buying it. Or you can do it slowly, farm it, free to play. And you get it over time. So I think a lot of people are frustrated because they're probably like just barely beating Ultima 6. And they're like, oh, yeah, like we're going to jump in here and do amazing. And it's like, well, no, like you're not. And there's no reason that you should. Now, the rewards are a bit to be desired from Ultima 7. I get it. Like this stuff's kind of rough. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's not great. I feel like they're, I mean, it's, it's hard, right? Because more orange materials would be amazing because... Three and two are kind of pointless. They seem to add up over time. But the, I don't know. There are some concerns I do have with this because there's no blue gear. And I use blue gear all the time. We always are going to need blue gear. And there's just no supply of it. And so I don't know if they're thinking that we'll get you know, excessive amounts of purple gear from this now. So we won't buy purple gear from the store. We'll buy blue gear from the store. I don't know. But overall, I know that a lot of people have complained about that. They've complained about the amount of gold per node, which, I mean, I can agree with just because I like gold. But it's like a lot of stuff is just a lot of people have questions, concerns, issues, and Fox Next hasn't said anything about it. So I don't know. I think that there are concerns and issues. So don't watch this video and hear me be like, oh, Combs is just standing up for Fox Next. He loves them. Because if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that that's far from true. I'm very critical of them. And I don't know, I, I I personally am just seeing this and I'm just like, man, like, I don't know, like, maybe, 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 maybe there is a chance that they just want to frustrate us into spending. That is a lot of what these kinds of games do. They just frustrate you into spending. They want you to just spend that money, spend that money because that's how they make money. Now they do it a very frustrating and kind of painstakingly way with this game, but like, I don't know. It, it kind of is what it is. And so I just want to tell everybody, yeah, things are not perfect. Yeah, some things do need to change, and it would be great if some things could change. But just chill out for a little bit. It's not the end of the world. It'll be fine, and uh, you'll be okay. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. Um, like I said, I don't 
I don't think it's as big of a deal as people are making it to be, but I also understand the perspective. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, as always, important links are in the Discord. Uh, subscribe buttons right next to your uh, right there, right under the video. You better uh, you're gonna want to click on that. And yeah. So hope you guys are doing great. I appreciate you, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Right. Goodbye.